Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And on this glorious morning, it's about 25 degrees out there and I'm stuck in a studio, we're going to take a look at a subject we've covered several times before on the channel, uh, but there's currently a poll, uh, the results of which are in the Daily Mail, showing that over 50% of Britons want men banned from competing against women in women's sports. Seems logical. There is a bit of an outcry, but mainly from those inadequate men who want to play, play sports against women. So uh, we'll take a look at the article and, uh, well, see what you think. Personally, I disagree with men playing against women. Uh, apart from the basic unfairness of it, the physical disparity, the moral disparity, the ethical issues, there's also the fact that men could physically damage women, especially in contact sports. But uh, yeah, I think it's going to be an interesting article and we will go down and have a look at it. And the headline really says it all. More than half of Britons want trans women, i.e. men, banned from female sports. And this poll reveals after the Emily Bridges realm. For those who don't know, Emily Bridges is a male cyclist who wasn't very good um, and so decided to take up lady cycling uh, so he could have a chance of winning something. Uh, more in common, Think Tank's poll showed Britons not in favour of participation. Respondents all wanted trans women to be able to take part in their sports, but the majority thought they had a physical advantage over genetically born women, or women. So transgender women, men, should not be allowed to compete in female-only sports, 57% of respondents to a new poll have said. And in fact, it's a bit more than that, because it's 57% of people who expressed a preference, said. Uh, but we'll have a look at the table in a moment. Uh, the majority of Britain's surveyed felt transitioned females are given the other competitors a physical disadvantage. Well, of course they are. They're physically stronger, uh, and then there's all the biochemistry that goes involved, like oxygen retention and things like that. So yeah, there's no way it's fair. No way at all. No way anyone can say it's fair. And the people who are on the other side of this, the trans athletes themselves, go, oh, but I've taken hormones and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but they can't actually provide one piece of scientific proof that shows that it is fair. They've just gone about, but my experience, and that, and it's all crapola. Most raise the idea of having a separate or mixed category for trans athletes to take part in. Well, that's fine. Like, if, you're a, if you're a man who wants to race women, race men. You're a man, race men. And you say, oh, but that's not fair. I haven't got reduced uh, hormones. Well, you've taken the pills, love. You know, you've made your choice. Choices have consequences, and you know that going in. Have your own group. Anyway, uh, every group question wanted there to be a way that trans women, men, could be able to compete in the sport they loved. No one's saying you can't. You just can't compete against women because it would be unfair. Uh, the controversial topic, well, not really controversial, common sense, magnified by council culture and social media storms, was examined by the think tank More In Common. In a survey of more than 5,000 people and 20 focus groups featured partly an anonymised comments, anonymised comment, sorry, from those quizzed. Lara, 38, from Pitney said, no one's saying they're not female in sports, it's just they're saying that they're giving other competitors a physical disadvantage. <clears throat> I don't think that it's they're being categorised as a male. I think it's, it's physically they'd smash the heck out of the other side it would be so unfair now here's a table <clears throat> and I'm going to look at the top one here and the UK average so on average the survey set our survey said 57% of people expressed the position that it should not be allowed but only 19% said it should so more than three to one of those who express the preference, it's more than three to one. And the really weird thing is, if you look at the, the, the different age groups, so the silent generation, the boomers, the Gen Xers, my generation, um, the millennials, Gen Zs, all of them, not one of these groups polled higher to say it should be allowed, then it shouldn't. 
Even the closest, Gen Z, 37% no, 38% yes, should be banned. 37% no, it shouldn't be banned. And they are like the most tolerant, and even they are voting against it. Um, and of course, age obviously is important because obviously as you go back in the era, there's fewer and fewer and fewer and fewer and fewer. You'd expect that. But here's the, here's the rub. You have the different social groups rather than age groups. So let's come up a little. Oh, you're going to get that. Backbone conservatives, only 11% said it should be allowed. Uh, disengaged trans traditionalists, only 10%. Loyal Nationals, only 20%. Established Liberals, 16%. Disengaged Battlers, 16%. Civic Pragmatists, 16%. In fact, the only people in the only group that, said, that more said should than said shouldn't were the progressive activists, i.e. those who are already fighting for it. Now, these... The, the progressive activists are the ones that are pushing for rights, pushing for rights. These are the, the push, 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 push lots. But even they aren't making a majority case. Just over a third. So it's quite clear that effectively nobody is in, is in favour of this. Anyway, Ian, 61 from Glasgow, added, people can pick and choose their gender nowadays or what to, to do and what they want to dress and what they feel. And that's absolutely fine. But when it comes to competitive sport, just looking at her or him, you get a substantial advantage with her build or strength. So she shouldn't be competing. He's saying her, he means him. So he shouldn't be competing against genetic females. I just don't think it's right. Um, so it comes the week after a fresh transgender row broke out after trans cyclists Emily Bridges laughed off claims he has a competitive advantage over biological women. Has to laugh off the claims because cannot refute the claims. There is no repudiation of these claims. This Emily fellow can't put his hand on a piece of, you know, academic work and go, actually, look at this. Oh, he just, oh I'll just laugh off the claims because I have no other argument. In a series of tweets... Uh, British Olympic swimmer Sharon Davis said Bridges is not a woman and called him his inclusion in women's sports unfair and claimed that he would be banned from competing that she would be banned for competing if she had as much testosterone in her system as Emily Bridges is allowed. The former GB swimmer also posted Emily Bridges has never been barred from sport or ever will be. Uh, EB was competing last year and earlier this year successfully in the men's category. Inclusion is being able to compete. It is not about getting an unfair advantage. Quite right. <clears throat> and there's that man, Leah Thomas, speaking to his coach after winning the 500 metre freestyle against women. Um, Sharon also added, if we get to the point where we can't talk facts because it might hurt someone's feelings, where the hell is this going to lead us? How can we measure feelings? Why is one person's feelings more important than another person's feelings? See, feelings cannot be measurement of truth. That's right. Just because you are upset or, or triggered or angry, it doesn't make you right. In March, Labour leader Keir Starmer refused to say if a woman can have a penis during a debate about trans rights. That's because he's an idiot. Because he doesn't understand what a woman is. And it's, it's interesting, all these politicians that go, oh, yes, 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 trans women are women. Hmm, they won't sleep with one, will they? Starmer, appearing for his regular LBC radio uh, phone-in, was asked about trans athletes and the success of Leah Thomas, a man who won the 500-yard freestyle title at the Women's NCAA Championships. The victory has sparked a debate around trans athletes taking part in competitive sport, with critics claiming they have an advantage over other participants. But Starma said it was for sporting bodies to decide for themselves who can and cannot be included in events. Actually it's more than that because if a sporting body says no you can't compete because you're a man, that man will then go to the courts and the courts will then issue a proclamation. And that's law by the judiciary. 
and which is always poor when the judiciary make laws that's poor laws should be made by the executive but Keir Starmer is incapable of making a law as he has already claimed because he doesn't want to sit on the on, on one side of that fence or the other because he knows wherever side he sits he's going to be wrong yes but you've got to look at the percentage points here Keir 99% say one thing 1% say the other if you're a politician you're with the 99% Asked if a woman can have a penis, Starmer stammered and said, I'm not, no, uh, I don't think we can conduct this debate with, uh, no, I don't think that discussing this issue way in any way helps anyone in the long run, blah, 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 not answering question. Rosie Duffield, the Labour MP for Canterbury, has also told the BBC that her party still had a confused position over the transgender debate. Rosie Duffield, one of the few Labour MPs who actually speaks sense, uh, she came under fire for her opposition to male-bodied biological men being allowed to self-identify as females in order to access women-only spaces such as prisons and domestic v DV refuges. Uh, and there you have it. Um, so I'm going to come up and round off on this one. The people of Britain have given now um, basically a, a thumbs down to men competing against women. And that's only right. Um, especially when, as I say earlier, contact sports, you get football or rugby. Women will get injured or worse. And it is just basically unfair because of basic biological differences. And no one has come up with any form of academic study showing that transitioned men are in any way equal to women. They're always going to have a physical advantage. So if trans people want to compete, have a trans race, have a trans cycling race. Sure, there won't be many people taking part, but it will at least be inclusive so that you can participate in the sport you claim to love so much. Anyway, if you like what you hear and see on the channel, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Ring the bell for notifications of future output. Leave a like. Leave a comment and until next time, stay safe, stay well and goodbye.